Carrie with King Concoctions here, back to make some more full process soap. This time I'm making a soap for my coworkers as a holiday gift. So let's jump right into it. Here I'm adding the lye water to the boils. This is a very large batch. This is actually being made in my Maltoy loaf mold. Just stick blending it all together. This is my fragrance. It's a eucalyptus and spearmint from Fragrance Buddy. And I've used this fragrance several times in the past and never had it rice, but it riced quite a lot in this batch um, in big thick chunks, which was very odd. So I'm going to give it another blend. Um, but this kind of cascaded into changing my entire design. I initially wanted a swirly design, um, and as you see as, the, as we get there, that is not what we ended up with. I need to split my batch into four colors for the colors of the company logo, um, which are navy blue, sky blue, neon green, and white. You can see here it's still pretty chunky too. I didn't get a chance to blend out all that racing. So here's the first color. This is going to become the sky blue. This is uh, the new epic color Making Waves by Nurture Soap. I'm adding a little bit of titanium dioxide, maybe like a tablespoon here, just to lighten it up to a sky blue. I thought it was too dark in the bowl. That bottle of titanium dioxide is actually using a technique from I Dream of Soap where she teaches you how to, to pre-disperse titanium dioxide in oil so that you don't actually have to stick blend in the titanium dioxide. Now we're on to my next color. At this point I was really hoping to still do that swirl, but I saw how thick the batter was getting, so I was starting to rush a little bit. This is Force of Nature by Nurture Soap. It's part of the Epic Collection as well. Our third bowl is going to have the navy blue. This is a color I mixed myself using a, a dark mica, some activated charcoal, and a, like a dark blue that I had on hand. Not from any particular company. And the final color is just white. Um, I added about, I think, total two and a half tablespoons of titanium dioxide by the time I was done with it. You can see the batter is very thick at this point. Uh, I knew by now that a swirl wasn't going to be possible. So here's my loaf mold, or my slab mold, and in the bottom first goes the, the navy blue soap, you, or the navy blue bowl. You can see how thick it is. It is easily pipeable consistency at this point, so now I'm really rushing to try and get some soap in the mold to have some, to some ability to save this batch. Um, it, you'll see when I get to cutting the soap, there are, quite, there are gonna be quite a few gaps in air pockets. You can see it doesn't move at all when I try to smack it down. The second layer is a lighter blue. I thought it would match well with the dark blue. Uh, now I'm just trying to, to get it in here as layers um, and smoothing it as best as I possibly can. But I, I, at this point I knew <laughs> what I ended up with is what I ended up with. Again, nothing moves when I smack it down. Finally, the green. I really, really like this green. It is a neon green, but it's not like, I don't know, make you gouge your eyes out in neon green. I just, and I thought it matched perfectly for our company logo, the company brand. <laughs> just trying my best to smooth it. So, so many air pockets. <laughs> It's very difficult to work with this amount of soap that is already this far set. Um, this is very, very thick. Uh, and I really was struggling trying to make sense of the whole thing. Lastly, we're sticking the white on top. And at this point, I've completely forgotten I'm recording. I, I was just trying to get the soap in the mold Trying to save the batch because that's quite a lot of oils and lye and, and fragrance oil. I've used this fragrance oil at least twice in the past and never had any trouble with it. Um, my oils were significantly warmer than normal though. I was trying to 
make the perfect batch since it was for my coworkers. Uh, and that may have had, played a factor into how quickly it sped up on me. So we missed a little bit there, but I took the final little bits that were in the bowls and just added them to the top and now I'm smearing them across the top to give it a little bit of a design. At this point I had completely abandoned my design and didn't really know what I wanted to do with the top, but I really like how it came out. Just cleaning off the edges. And giving you a look at all the angles. All right, there it is, it's in the mold. Now it needs to sit for about 48 hours or so. So here it is 48 hours later, same shirt, new gloves, but freshly cured soap, or freshly made soap. Getting it out of the mold. You can see here a lot of the holes that are in the sides. Most of the holes were in the sides, although I had a significant number inside as well. There's only so much you can do about that. Just cleaning up the edges with a potato peeler, beveling them slightly, just cleaning, just making them look a little bit nicer. Alright, time to split it into loaves. My bars are about 2.5 inches thick, or wide I should say, uh, and that's what my cutter is set at, or sorry, my log splitter is set at. Loaf splitter, splab splitter, I don't know what we're calling this this device. Uh, in hindsight, I would have I would have recorded this at a different angle. Uh, I know now better for the future. That was the first loaf. Now we're cutting the second loaf. I believe I cut both ends or both sides. Uh, and the center one here on top is the the smack middle of the mold. And here is my lovely multi-bar cutter. Makes quick work of cutting all the soap and what I enjoy the most is it gives me very consistent, even sized bars. It is surprisingly difficult to cut through that mud, through six bars of soap. And here's the finished bar. You can see there we've got a little bit of holes. There's only so much I could do. Uh, we also have a significant number of glycerin rivers. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming because this was such a large amount, you know, of soap that it overheated a little because um, it was already kind of warm as part of the acceleration. Anyways, um, that is the soap that I made for my coworkers. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.